Mahindra Racing is gearing up to race in Season 10 of the FIA Certified Formula E World Championship, the only single-seater all-electric racing series in the world today. While the team has signed up high-profile drivers like Edward Motara and former Formula E World Champion Nick De Vries to compete for podium places, the biggest talking point for Indian fans is the team's recruitment of Indian racer Kush Maini as reserve driver for the upcoming season. Kushmaini, let me get this right. You're driving for Formula 2. You have been assigned as the junior driver for Alpine F1 team. You are the reserve driver now for Mahindra Racing and you're also mentored by Formula 1 champion Mika Hakkinen. Extremely busy you're coming up for you and how does it feel to be part of the Mahindra Racing team? Well, it's, you know, I mean, this year was busy. I mean, next year is going to be crazy. But yeah. uh, I'm always, I always welcome, you know, these new challenges. Uh, it's a new, it's a completely new you know, way of racing. Uh, it's a completely new discipline for me in Formula E uh, than what I'm used to. Uh, so, you know, get, getting experience from Formula 1, Formula E, and then obviously racing in F2, I can use a lot of things from each series and, you know, apply it into becoming better, which is, at the end, my goal. Um, so, and then obviously, you know, with the news of Mahindra, it's just amazing. Um, like I said, it's just such a big brand to be a part of, especially being Indian. Uh, you know, the pride and honor I feel is, you know, unmatchable. Um, and, uh, you know, you grow up seeing the Mahindra cars, you know, that's almost every second car is a Mahindra car. So uh, they've, left, they've left a massive staple in, you know, our history and they continue to do so. So it's uh, amazing to be a part of that. Like you mentioned, the, the racing discipline is completely different from Formula 2 to Formula E. So how much of the learning process is going to be involved in also contributing to the Mahindra Racing Team next year? Obviously, you know, to contribute, the first, uh, the first thing I have to do is get up to speed, um, which I'm going to start in January, working closely with the sim engineer and the, and the drivers, you know, uh, understanding, you know, how to save energy, you know, sort of protocols you do in the races because it's not all about just driving fast and formally there's a lot more things going on so first I'll have to get my head around that and then one two months in I can start you know driving the sim putting some laps for the main drivers to come and then drive try and push them a bit further uh, obviously I'll come for uh, you know definitely three four races uh, in the year so that'll be great to be a part of the whole the whole picture um, so it, it's very exciting for me as well and um, uh, to learn but also you know to try and contribute because uh, you know, seeing Mahindra's rise now in Formula E and knowing that I'll have a small part of it is, a, is an amazing thing I look forward to, so I'm going to do my best to help them. While the Gen 3 race car remains the same as earlier this year, the team has been working hard to make some software improvements and build on team strength for the upcoming season. Pradik, you've just come off the pre-season testing at Valencia as well. A bit of, uh, you know, a mishap that you mentioned during the pre-season testing as well, but that did not... Uh, take away anything from uh, the testing time, right? Yeah, let's say it was an additional challenge to make sure that the team was strong enough to survive. In that particular case, we, we made the choice of having one car hmm. testing instead of two because there were a bit of damage. But we had that car on track properly and then the two drivers were able to perform properly well uh, with, with that car. We know it's not showing everything a test like this. Mm -hmm. Everybody's playing a little bit, but at least what, what was really good is giving confidence. What is your assessment of the car for the upcoming season? Not, not so much change okay. uh, from, from last year. Right. So we still have the same type of car, hardware and everything. What right. we are working on right now is software. Okay. How can we find some ideas to work better with the powertrain we have? Right. And the second, expect a lot from the driver's experience okay. to bring new ideas and their energy into the car, their own one to make sure that we can get uh, better qualifying. Mm. That would be one of the goals. And then hopefully, if we qualify better, mm -hmm. probably end up in a better position at the end of the race. But um, it will still be a challenging year for us, Season 10. But speaking of the drivers, it's a big talking point. You've got Edward Motara and you've got Nick De Vries, a former Formula E champion uh, coming in. But he's not driven the Gen 3 car, right? This is the first time that he's driving the Gen 3 car. Has he already uh, got a grasp on the car? I think he still has margin. Um, Nick, Nick, the good thing is that he has a strong background. When mm. you have been world champion in Formula E, you have driven from one of the major manufacturers in the championship. And on top of that, after you got that F1 experience, all together creates a background which is huge. So he has strong processes, very strong way of working, very open-minded approach, and he knows the project. 
Right. So he, he really came into something he adhered 100%. Mm. And now he knows that he also has a bit on his side to improve the understanding of the car, the behavior uh, of the, the tires, okay. and make sure that he get the best out of it. But the season will start in January, he yeah. will be 100% ready. I'm really excited that we have an Indian driver in the mix as well as a reserve driver. What are you expecting from uh, Kush Maini? What is you know, his input that you're looking for? Kush is fast. That's okay. the first thing. And uh, when I look at last year's season, uh, to be top rookie performer in Formula 2 is something important. Mm. Uh, second is that he's learning quick. He's doing a few mistakes sometimes, but he's learning a lot and he's very humble compared to what he has uh, uh, experienced and, and what he has learned. So mm. this I like a lot. And the last thing is um, he also liked the project. Uh, because he knows it's, it's something where he needs to learn mm. still and to learn from the drivers, to learn on the understanding the specificity of Formula E. So we, with that package, what I expect definitely is that first of all he's improving and that the margin where he starts uh, and where I want him to be is still huge and then he will compensate right. that gap very quickly, mm -hmm. definitely. The second is that he's, he's very enthusiastic mm. and this is always good for my team right now. I need people with that level of enthusiasm and motivation. Mm. And the last is that is bringing the young, young driver flavor. You know, you, you need that. That, that. that level of push those young drivers want because they want to, mm. to get the seat. And this is what I want also from him. You were there at the Hyderabad Apri. It was a good race. I would say pretty good race for Mahindra uh, since you finished in the top 10. What were the challenges that you noticed in the Hyderabad Epri? What are you expecting from the next race? Because there was a lot of, uh, there were question marks whether Hyderabad would make it back on the calendar. Finally did, so we are excited about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited and happy that it happens. Uh, we, we put a lot of pressure on, on Formula E to make sure that we can find agreement. But we, we did a good job, I think, on redefining the responsibilities to make sure that the event is delivered in a very good way and probably improved right. compared to last year. And I think it's an important message for the people who will come to this uh, year's uh, event. I definitely believe that the, the quality of the event itself, the way to host the spectators will be much better than, than, than last season. But scoring good points in Hyderabad is an important uh, target for us. The car looks quite suitable for that track. So happy yeah. that we come back and we'll be even happier if we make a good result here. Well, all right. Thank you so much for talking to us and good Pleasure. luck. for the Thank you very season. much. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> See you.